Australian travel restrictions and exemptions. This video update will talk about the exemptions and limits on travel announced by the Australian Department of Home Affairs. This video update consists of three parts, so we highly suggest you to watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates on Australian border opening and latest travel updates. To further prevent the spread of COVID-19, Australia's borders are now closed and admission into the country is tightly monitored. You may be able to visit Australia only either if you have been granted an individual exemption or you're exempted from traveling. Travel restrictions may alter as a result of the events surrounding COVID-19. You can remain up to speed on the newest developments by visiting this website on a frequent basis. More information on transiting through Australia may be found on the Transiting Australia homepage. Requests for travel exemptions from India Travel restrictions for travelling from India to Australia have been restored to global norms based on current health advice. Applicants who are planning to get a travel exemption to travel from India to Australia can apply through the travel exemption site. Exemption applications for escorting kids who are Australian citizens or permanent residents. Individuals travelling with Australian residents or permanent resident minors to Australia may be given travel exemptions. This is to safeguard the child's or children's safety and well-being while travelling. Under the following conditions, travel exclusions for this category are usually granted. In most cases, one guardian will be allowed for each kid, under the age of two years. For multiple kids above the age of two, only one guardian from the same family group will typically be allowed. If medical advice and proof are presented, more guardians may be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. Unless there are exceptional grounds, individuals traveling with Australian citizens or permanent resident minors visiting Australia should be relatives, for example, aunt, uncle, grandparent. Holders of temporary visas Temporary visa holders in Australia can leave at any moment, but they are typically not permitted to return. More information is available at temporary visa holders departing Australia for a brief foreign trip. Categories that are exempt If you fall under the following categories, you are automatically exempt from the travel restrictions and may enter Australia without getting an individual exemption. An Australian national A permanent resident of Australia a direct family member of an Australian citizen or permanent resident a New Zealand citizen normally residing in Australia and their direct family members a person who has spent 14 days or more in New Zealand or Australia prior to arriving in Australia by flight a diplomat commissioned to Australia as well as members of their direct family each member of the family unit must hold a valid subclass 995 visa a person traversing Australia for 72 hours, or fewer, including airline personnel, maritime workers, and marine pilots. A worker hired, via the government-approved seasonal worker program, or the Pacific Labor Scheme. A holder of a business innovation, an investment visa subclass 188. A person with a temporary activity subclass 408 visa, in the post-COVID-19 economic recovery event stream, who is sponsored by the Global Business and Talent Attraction Task Force. If you have a temporary visa, or still don't have a valid visa for Australia, you must provide proof of your relationship to the department before travelling to Australia, such as your marriage certificate, proof of your de facto relationship, such as shared finances or property, your birth certificate or birth certificate for your children. Do not travel until you're given the go-ahead. Learn more about how to give this information to the immediate family of Australian citizens, permanent residents, or New Zealand citizens who are normally residing in Australia. When traveling, you must carry proof that 
you fall into one of the aforementioned groups. More proof may be required. If you don't belong to one of the exempt categories, you can apply for an individual exemption to Australia's travel restrictions. This is the end of today's video update. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching.